And as an older guy, especially if you're an older beginner just getting started with exercising, you need to start warming up the shoulders first. So this exercise will allow you to do that. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. All right, today's video, I'm gonna take you through a dumbbell chest workout for beginners. Here's the key thing, as a beginner, you need to make sure you're doing things correctly to optimize your results. Otherwise, you're just gonna be working out and not getting the results you want. With that said, let's get started. All right, guys, before we get into the actual exercises, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you click on that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. All right, as a beginner, here's the thing. A lot of guys go straight to the bench press and they load it up and do as heavy as they can. Basically what happens is your mind is going from point A to point B. You're not really focused on working the chest. You're not focused on making sure your chest is doing all of the work. So typically for beginners, what I recommend dumbbell exercises all right dumbbell exercises are going to allow you to get a bigger range of motion and the dumbbells also allow you to work within your comfortable anatomic positioning okay basically meaning when you're doing a barbell you're naturally in a fixed position your shoulders your elbows your wrist everything's in a straight line so it's a lot harder on your shoulders a lot harder on your elbows the last thing i want you to do is start pumping out a bunch of weight as a beginner and then getting injured two, three, four weeks into your workouts and then you have to give up. You lose all the progress that you had made up to that point. All right, so you can avoid that just by starting with dumbbells, all right? Now the three exercises I chose here are designed to eliminate momentum but also give you your biggest bang for your buck. One of these exercises is actually two movements within one exercise. So it's gonna be very beneficial for you developing a stronger mind-muscle connection. Because at the end of the day, you wanna really focus on working the chest. When you're stretching the dumbbells, you wanna make sure your chest is what's raising the dumbbells. You don't wanna just push the dumbbells up from here to there, here to there. Again, back to a barbell. That's what a barbell does. You're going straight down, straight up. Our body's natural design is come out, then across the middle. That's what the chest does. The chest can stretch and come across the middle. So you wanna simulate that with a dumbbell. So when you come down in your lower position, you want a full stretch, but as you raise the weight, you wanna come across the center of your body, the midline of your body. So that's why the first exercise you're gonna be doing is a dumbbell incline press. So we're starting with an incline press over the regular flat bench press. Main reason is a lot of men tend to neglect the upper chest work. They're constantly working on flat benching. When you do that, again, it puts a lot of strain on your shoulders. And as an older guy, especially if you're an older beginner just getting started with exercising, you need to start warming up the shoulders first. So this exercise will allow you to do that better. All right, so basically you want your bench to be not a full incline, 45 degrees is the steepest, I like it, but typically about a 30 degree incline works best. You'll see my dumbbell position here. One thing you can do to also make this more comfortable is rotate the dumbbells to where your palms are facing in slightly. If you're doing a barbell, your palms naturally face towards the front. This again puts, puts a little bit more stress on your shoulder joints. So just by rotating in, it's gonna help give you a little bit more shoulder clearance. From here, you're pressing, like I said, up, then across the middle, just like that. Nice stretch out. You wanna stretch the chest out here, and then up across the center. Really focus on feeling the chest stretch, not your shoulders, you should feel a good chest stretch. And then imagine your chest pushing the dumbbells back up. You also wanna take this nice, slow, and under control. No dropping the weight suddenly, you'll notice if you do that, it's gonna hurt your shoulders as well. So nice and slow and under control and lift the weight up just above your head, just like that. Let me show you a couple more here. Nice wide stretch, contraction, stretch, 
contraction. All right, that's gonna be the first exercise I recommend. The next one is the one I told you that is a two movements in one exercise, okay? So basically we are gonna get a flat bench for this one and you're gonna do a fly, a dumbbell fly, but you're not only doing a dumbbell fly. Once you bring the dumbbells across to the top of the across the top of your body, you're gonna squeeze the dumbbells together. That's a dumbbell squeeze press. I'll show you what it looks like here. Again, lie flat. Also make sure you're keeping your core tight when you're doing this. And go ahead and retract those shoulder blades. Push them into the bench behind you. That's gonna help keep your shoulders safe. From here, unlock the elbows slightly. Nice stretch in your pecs. Again, at the top, come all the way to the top so the dumbbells touch. Now you squeeze them together. While you're squeezing them together, you're gonna come down to a bench press and back up. Let me show you three more of these. Stretch. Press. Couple more here. You'll notice how under control I am. That's gonna keep you from hurting your shoulders. All right. So that's the second exercise I want you to focus on. The third, you're using dumbbells, but you don't necessarily have to use dumbbells. All right, let's get these dumbbells over here. This is a deficit push-up. You can use a bumper plate, something about three to four inches off the ground. What you're doing is creating a deeper stretch in your chest, creating an actual deficit. This is gonna be deficit push-ups. So it's not a standard push-up. Standard push-up, you're just touching your chest, coming right back up. Difference with the deficit is you're gonna get a deeper stretch in your pecs. So you're gonna build a little bit more dense muscle by doing that. All right, let's get these out here. Again, if you had a flat surface, you can do that as well. Keep your hands on the flat surface. I'm just gonna hold on to the dumbbells. Out a little wider than shoulder width. Core tight, spine and neck neutral. Good stretch, good squeeze. One other point, and I'll do a few of these for you. When you're coming up, the mental image you should be doing is bringing your arms together. Bicep to bicep, you're trying to touch them, okay? That's gonna give you a peak contraction in the mid chest. So again, full stretch all the way down, full contraction. Do three more. Three, all right. Once again, nice and slow and under control. The last thing I want you to know is you're doing three exercises. I showed you three. Basically, shoot for three sets of each as a beginner, okay? So that's nine total sets. It's not a lot, so this isn't gonna take you a long time to complete this workout, but you also wanna shoot for about 10 to 12 reps. 10 to 12 reps, really focus on working that mind-muscle connection. Do this as opposed to just going really heavy. At the beginning stages, it's not about lifting heavier weight. If you start out lifting heavy, it tends to lead to a lot more damage on your shoulders, your ligaments and tendons, okay? So I want you to avoid that with all costs. I really want you to focus on using the weight and working the actual muscle, as opposed to going from point A to point B, point A to point B, it's chest stretch, chest contract, chest stretch, chest contract. That's how you should be thinking with every exercise. Same with the flies, chest stretch, squeeze together, which is contracting, keep the squeeze, which is a continuous contraction, and squeeze all the way back up. You will notice a lot of blood flowing into your chest while you're doing these exercises, and that's good. That's the goal. You want some lactic acid in there. You want it to burn because that lactic acid is actually gonna pull growth hormone in your muscle along with the, all that blood. So that's key for building more muscle. But all right guys, if you have any questions about any of these three exercises or 
how to implement them correctly or anything else at all. If I need to clarify anything for you, just leave the question in the comments. Other than that, man, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.